let's talk about superficial fascia. So I've got these images over here on the right. And these are brilliant. These are taking, taken from Tom Myers's work, Anatomy Trains. Please look that up, geek out on it. Fantastic work that really opened our eyes to the continuity and that we are an anatomical system, not just right um, a hamstring or a calf or a neck muscle. However, the reason I chose this cobweb actual Halloween suit to present and show, right, these fascial restrictions, right, is because I also wanted you to have a visual that it's not as clean and simple as this. So when you look at connective tissue underneath the skin, it looks like snotty cobwebs. It literally kind of looks like this, okay? And there are these layers of superficial fascia that you have to get through before you get to these structures that are actually fascia profunda, deep fascia structures. Now I'm going to ask you a question. If you're doing any kind of stretching or manipulation, right, with a foam roller with your hand, whatever it is, do you think you can touch the deep structures or the superficial structures? I mean, it's a rhetorical question. So superficial fascia um, is massively important here. It's not as simple as just these fascial trains. It's also these fascial trains, but you've got to look at this big system that is literally your birthday suit to get a bigger perspective of connective tissue. Because what I've seen people do is they find out about Tom Myers's work. Their mind is blown. They're like, this is awesome. They start to study it and they forget that he talks about a system and they go back to, I think it's just the deep front line. I think it's just the superficial back line. They do not exist in a vacuum. They literally interweave and look a little bit more like this. So just as a person doing your own research, as a clinician, as a therapist, don't forget it's not as simple and clean as this. It's a little bit messy and cobwebby like this.